Today will be the day we will be taming a Strider, finally. It's just, it's taken so long to actually get to this point. I honestly thought we could have done this in the last episode. But unfortunately, I didn't have any Mutagel, but I do now. And I actually could show you how I got that in just a minute. But before we get into that, um, let me show you the Strider that we're taming now. Because the one that I was looking at in the last episode, and it's literally the exact same day, by the way, I, like... It's, it's gone. I don't I don't know where it went, but I actually managed to... Ooh, I didn't see you, did I? Oh, wait, no, I did see you. Okay, yeah, never mind. You're not important. So, yeah, I did actually find another identical one um, in around the same level. I think the one in the last episode might have been a level 18. This one here is a level 24, and uh, we should be able to do this. So, there it is. It actually has some pretty nice colors. Some of them have, like, blues and, like, yellows and kind of, like... Uh, uh like a brown that almost kind of looks like copper but um this one here is pretty nice it just looks like the striders from the trailer and i'm actually kind of digging it wait is it kind of slightly blue it's kind of hard to tell i think it might have undertones of blue or gray or something like that but anyway yes let me show you how i got the mutagel okay so i came out here because there's black pearls I was obviously checking to see what biome this would be, hoping that it was going to be the one with the ambergris and the and the mutagel, but I just picked up some mutagel while trying to pick up some black pearls. So I guess it's like a rare-ish, not super rare drop. I mean, hang on a second. I'd only really like picked up two or three lots of black pearls and we already got one. Um, and it was in place of black pearls, so it might be like a rare drop or something. I had, oh, there we go. We got another one. I had no idea that this was a thing. This is great. So if I can collect, I think we needed six, six of them, or was it eight? I can't remember. I'll try and just collect as much of this as I can. But yeah, apparently we can pick up mutagel when there are black pearls out here. And right now I am, yeah, I really should have hit up, uh, <laughs> hit up the water before I came out here. That was not a smart idea. I kind of just start flying. Um, any more black pearl things? So yeah, this biome here with the turquoisey kind of looking rocks, um, and then the giant balls floating everywhere. This is the black pearl biome. And let's go ahead and pick up some more here. So how much do we have so far? We've already got four and 48 black pearls. So let's say it's like a one in 12 chance then in that case. Oh, we just got two more there. Yeah, I don't I don't know what the odds are on this, but that is, uh, that's very nice. I mean, usually you get like one black pearl. Sometimes you can get more than one from the same thing, so... Yeah, you just get it in place of the black pearls, which is great. Okay, let's see if we can get some more here on cam. But yeah, this is fantastic. I had no idea that we could do this. There we go. We got another one already. Um, this makes it so much easier. So you don't only have to wait for the ambergris and mutagel biome. You can also apparently get it on this black pearl one. And maybe some of the other ones as well. I don't know. I haven't even done any testing or anything like that. So um yeah let me let me go ahead and pick up some stuff now before somebody says oh i commented this the other day i'm sorry i don't i can't physically read every single comment <laughs> so i'm so sorry if you've been telling me about this for days but uh yeah i know now at least and at least i can share that info with other people that don't know so here we go um no more all right so how much do we have so far seven seven and 95 black pearls okay if I can get to at least nine, I'll head back in because I do need a drink or else we're going to have to struggle along here. How high is my stam? Okay, we can wait for that to go up a little bit by just walking. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in a little bit when we can hopefully get the strider all tamed up. So yeah, we have nine of it right now. And if you go up to the strider, um, it basically just says use mutagel. So if you want to know, this one here is going to cost... Uh, six mutagel it does not show me the mission requirement right now because obviously i've completed nine which is probably above the amount that you need to get this but uh yeah let me go ahead and grab that back so let's get into this without further ado anyway guys go ahead do me a favor hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one and uh i have not actually tamed a strider yet so this will be my very first one so let's hop up on top and see if we can initiate this so you have to hack it so you got to put the mutagel into your last slot and then hop up to it and then, okay, target, uh, wait, bottom of neck, right? So right here, are we doing it? Uh, wait, okay, there we go. Yeah, look, I think, okay, yeah, wait, is it here? Am I supposed to be here? I think this is the spot that we're supposed to be at. Uh, yeah, we, let's move a little bit to this side. Okay, so how much is that taming then? Um, time remaining. Okay, cool. So, what are we at right now? Oh, it says begin hacking. I didn't even see that. I'm going to be completely honest. 
Um, I guess we gotta like align all the boxes. There we go. Boom. There we go. Nice. So what did we get then? Uh, how much are you tamed by? Uh, 28%. Okay, cool. So now we're supposed to go up here and then begin hacking. Where, when's it going to say that though? God, why is that so bright? <laughs> uh, am I supposed to be... Oh, look. Okay, yeah, yeah. We, we got we to gotta move around just a little bit. We can't immediately start hacking it. Damn. All right. So we just basically chill on the back of this thing and now we can do it. Begin hacking. Okay, here we go. Getting into the mainframe. Come on. Boom. And oh, I love this little effect down the bottom. That is dope. I love the, the arc writing. It's actually kind of like in my branding right now. If you guys, uh, if you hadn't noticed, I really like that stuff. Except I have my own version. Instead of circles, it's hexagons. Because I liked hexagons before they were in arc, okay? I've always liked them. Anyway, where do we go next? Um, probably like the, the head, maybe? Or the butt? Somewhere. <laughs> this is getting kind of raunchy. There we go. We're 66% tamed anyway. So it's got to move around a good amount right now. Um, okay, there we go. Keep walking there, buddy. Bringing that little meter down. 4,000 now. Just a little bit further. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I don't know where the next spot is. I thought it was, like, flashing before. Oh, oh, it's on the foot, apparently. So I might actually have to go down onto the ground then, in that case. Let's see. So you have to, like, hack different parts of it. It's kind of weird, isn't it? But I don't know. I kind of I kind of like this at the same time. It, it's different, you know? It's like little mini games instead. So here we go. All right, that's not too difficult. We just have to hit left click when the box lands on the line. This might actually get a tamed. There we go. I understand they were meant as robotic workhorses for cleaning up toxins and harvesting resources. Huh, workhorses? Imagine climbing up on one of those and riding it around. Yeah, we're going to be doing that pretty soon here, Helena. Let's see. So when you tame it, it gets the saddle, which has the um, the bed on it, and obviously the platform, and then also the, the little replicator, which is just insane. I mean, or re replicator, transmitter. It's just honestly insane. So you can just like upload and download stuff from directly from your strider. Like that's ridiculously good. So we've also got the bed here as well, and we could use this to fast travel. Let's just see. So we don't have our canoe here for some reason, or did I take it out of the water? I think I might have. But, um, yeah, so this is really awesome. All right, let's see. How do we use you? Let me try this out. So we have, on this one, we have the little uh, pulse cannons on the head, and then we also have the big cannon on the chest. So this one right here is, like, mainly kitted out for, like, fighting things. There's, I think, eight different attachments. So there's two that are for, like, harvesting, two that are for battle, uh, and then there's, I guess two, well, there's one that's like a radar and then there's another one that's pretty good for battle as well to like block out roars and stuff. And then there's, uh, two different types of shields. So there's like a bubble shield that goes all the way around. And then there's like a directional shield that like you point to some direction and then a shield appears there and you walk with it. It's pretty cool actually. Um, so maybe at some point we can go through all of the striders and kind of like check them all out. But, uh, for now we just have this one. See, can we I can't spy glass you from here can I yes I can nice okay well you're terrible let me uh let me first of all just measure how big this thing is compared to a Bronto because somebody was saying that this thing is like the exact same size as a Bronto let's go for this one down here so yeah you know what I, I don't think I ever realized it but like oh my god it's bigger I mean the Bronto's head goes up a little bit more but like yeah well we can we can extend our neck up like this look at this Haha, -ha, look at that. Although the Bronto can't extend its neck up as well. God damn, that is a, that is a big ass strider. I, I don't know. They just don't look that big from a distance, I suppose. We're not going to fight that Bronto because there's a lot of Brontos around, as you can see. And uh, this is only a puny little strider. I mean, here, actually, let's check out the stats on it. Okay, so 8,000 health is actually pretty good, but I, they can apparently come out with like 40 to 50,000, which is ridiculous. Um, and then the rest of the stats, it's kind of hard to really like make a judgment on those, but the charge capacity is what we're probably going to be leveling for a little bit. So let's go for, uh, let's go for this Rhino. Challenging enough, but 
at the same time it's not super fast oh i'm hitting left click i should be hitting right click there we go so that does seven damage okay does it do more when it gets close to me though it's also going to use up some of our charge as well so let's try and hit the big blast pulse cannon thing oh okay that's that actually did some pretty good damage to that's okay yeah that uh that's not bad and then that takes a little while to charge up and we're obviously using some charge capacity where do you charge the batteries on this ship actually i have no idea i don't think i've seen any charge stations so it must be something different um i guess let me know if you know but if not we'll try and find out at some stage uh let's go ahead and try and fight the stego then so that is the c attack which is the pulse cannon which somehow oh okay so it did apparently hit it that's great um let's try and hit headshots on the stego no that is difficult okay <laughs> Stego's gonna be a difficult one to fight at the start with this dude. So it's not doing insane damage. I mean, this is only a level 24, bear that in mind. It's gonna be a long time before I'm actually gonna be able to tame up a high level one of these, cause I mean, you need to do missions. Like the muted gel by the time we're able to tame like a max level is going to be a piece of cake. It's not gonna be an issue, but the missions are going to be a big pain cause anything above like 150 on the server will require you to do all of the missions so luckily it does cap out at 150 or what is it no not 150 it caps out at 51 i'm a okay yeah there we go <laughs> oh my god all right so yeah um that's pretty good i like the way that actually does cap out even on like servers that are running higher creatures because i was worried that it would start asking for more missions that are just you know like we, we can't do any more than 51 because there's only like 17 different types right or something like that i don't know anyway let's go ahead and destroy this little stego it's taking a long ass time Could probably hit it with another pulse cannon but it's dead all right let's see um what else we got around here probably nothing but you know what let's try and like walk our way back towards the base i th I think these things are supposed to not be able to swim so we we could probably like walk along the bottom of the water i can't confirm that just yet but i could have sworn i read that somewhere um actually here's something we a bunch of us uh influencers got a little like document with a bunch of information about all the uh creatures before it came out but uh we weren't allowed to say anything about any of it so i'm pretty sure it said it on that though but i don't know if that's like you know relevant information right now because i don't know something else that was on it was not true so i don't exactly know what to think this thing's really good at harvesting though look at this holy crap and you can also get berries with it as well um and obviously this is just like the normal like fighting one wow actually that's some pretty good berry gatherage there oh and we got some levels too let's go ahead and pump all those into charge capacity that's gonna allow us to shoot longer with this thing here so definitely definitely need to to just get all the levels into that so we can get this up even more um 63 right now i'm not exactly sure how that how that um divides or something maybe a certain amount maybe it's like a fifth or something would that work out yeah 63 goes into 315 five times right so a fifth of this is the amount of shots that you have with this let me test this out so yeah like one shot oh wait no two shots i guess two blasts is one of those energy okay good to know let's go ahead and try and destroy this guy there we go nice oh no we didn't kill him we killed some other stuff no i thought i killed him okay so uh that's pretty good we obviously should try and get that up as high as possible um i think it caps out though i'm pretty sure i can't remember what number it caps out at though all right let's see can we destroy this thing probably not oh we could do another pulse cannon this and a okay i was about to say that's gonna end up hitting the bronto though but we're good we're all good um maybe i can run away from the stego i mean it isn't super yeah it's not super bloody right now and i can hardly even really see it to be honest unless we camo down like this is it bloody oh it's getting kind of bloody all right we can continue this then so pachoo damn all right let's destroy you come on so yeah we're gonna need a name for the strider actually um <laughs> a pretty good one as well i imagine most people are probably gonna want me to call it the AT, at um and i would be okay with that i love star wars we just need a snow speeder to take the next one down all right come on no don't run away from me you coward all right let's you know what let's shoot him then in that case if he's gonna try and run away i'm just gonna shoot him this is what you get for being a coward the shooting is 
Oh, okay. That is in first person. That's just not even worth doing. What is happening here? Why are they not counting? What? It's coming back for more. What the hell? He's sick. Die already. <laughs> no. Can we do this? Oh, we don't have enough energy for the cannon. No. Okay. Boom. We got you. All right. Sweet. Um, <laughs> that's hilarious. Let's go ahead and get that up even more. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and walk this thing back over towards our base. And in the meantime, let me show you another clip of something else that happened. Whoa. Look what I just found. Holy crap. And that's an ascended gotcha saddle as well. Oh my God. Wait, where the, oh, there it is. Dude, that's a really good long neck actually. Holy crap. Okay. Well, yeah, that, uh, that's definitely nice. I figured I'd just hit record to show you guys. I'm not actually like in the middle of making a video right now. So <laughs> let me go ahead and just quickly check this other one though. Cause you never know there could be something really good in it. And I think this is the last one around. Of course, this one would have terrible stuff in it. Okay, so I'm a little bit curious what would happen if we killed a Strider. Like, what type of, like, resources do they drop? Did they drop some pretty good stuff? I don't actually know. So it's probably not worth fighting something that has cannons or anything like that on it. So if we can find one that actually is just, like, a harvesting one or something like that, then maybe we could try and take it out. Um, and it would also need to be somewhat low level, because I don't want to lose this one, like, already. <laughs> So, yeah, we need to try and find a half-decent, low-ish level to destroy. And I'm really hoping that they they stay in the world and you actually get resources from them. Not like the, um, what do you call them, the defense units from Extinction. Although I think they changed that at one stage, didn't they? I think they might have. But anyway, yeah, let's, uh, let's see if we can try and find one of these dudes. You know what? The better way of doing this is to just go ahead and cryopod it and then... Uh, pull it back out when uh when we've actually found something let's go ahead and grab that rhino horn sweet and let me put you in this assuming that you can be actually can you cryopod them you probably can't oh <gasps> you probably can't because that would actually be pretty op if you could oh my god wait you're not able to are you oh no okay oh okay yeah this is not cryopodable i mean definitely would have already went in if it was Especially right here. Um, okay. Well, that makes some sense. I mean, it, it definitely makes sense that you're not able to do that, but at the same time, oh no. <laughs> oh, it's so slow though. Ah, okay. Mm. Well, you know what? Maybe I can lead a strider over here or something. I don't really want to walk all over the place looking for one on this. Um, so maybe what we could do is we can search on the Maywing and then... And then, you know, either bring it back or walk over to it. Or maybe try and meet in the middle or something like that. I don't know. Uh, we do have another stride over here. What level are you there, bud? Oh, level 24. Oh, let's go for that one. Let's go for that one. Let me go ahead and grab my, my May Wing, though, because I don't want to leave it right. Just, like, chilling right there. Oh, you're okay. I thought you were, like, doing stuff or something. That sounded weird. All right, let's see. Oh, by the way, um, the name on the May Wing. Um, I finally actually pulled one from the comments section. It wasn't the top voted one, but it was one that made me laugh because it reminded me of a story that is a little bit weird um so a long time ago eight years ago well probably more because i finished school eight years ago but uh back when i was in school um i took spanish um don't speak spanish to me by the way i don't i nothing stuck nothing stuck <laughs> like i have a lot of spanish speaking viewers but like please like i only know the rude words okay but anyway, yeah, back then uh, I, I was taking Spanish and my um, our Spanish teacher was uh, natively Spanish. So like, you know, she was really good at English, but like sometimes it was kind of hard to understand her because of the accent. Um, and then one time she was saying uh, milkshake and nobody understood what she was saying because she was saying it like milkshahak. And it was like, what? And, like we were all trying to understand what she meant. And, and then she took her fist and... <laughs> And then she kind of like put it up to her mouth and then made like a gesture towards her mouth that I'm sure most of you can understand what I'm what I'm getting at here. She did that. Yeah. And then she was like milk shahak. And she also stuck out her tongue a little. It was weird. <laughs> so naturally, everybody started laughing. Um, oh, this one here has the headpiece. Eh, you know what? Fine. We'll, we'll go for it anyway. Naturally, everybody started laughing and she got kind of pissed and gave us a crap ton of work and just uh, sat there quiet because I guess she was embarrassed. Um, 
but yeah kind of a weird story but that just came to mind when uh when i saw the name milkshake um but also you know what our may wing will bring all the boys to the yard and a uh, boom oh damn all right let's see okay let's go ahead and shoot this thing oh man all right oh it doesn't uh wait what it's not doing any more damage oh is it too close or are we only able to hit it a certain amount something like that could be boom does that hurt my team when i do that i don't know if it does it's hard to tell all right so these things have a lot of health so this is going to be a long battle maybe i should have brought that brand new long neck that we have because uh wait can you shoot off the back you can't pull out cryopods so probably you know what you might be able to shoot off the back i have no idea we'll have to test that out after if you can that would probably be a little bit too op though um because these guys already are really really good oh look at that it's actually super hurt you can see all the oil okay come on please tell me you stay in the world and give me just tons and tons of scrap metal and some oil as well that would be great um okay here let's do another one of these boom oh whoa he's exploding whoa oh is he gonna fall up oh dude that's awesome oh really <laughs> oh that sucks they disappear oh cool we we there was some collateral damage well that's a good thing uh oh i did not mean to access my strider let's go ahead oh there's another one as well let's make a pile of them i hate pegos <laughs> let's go ahead and uh just uh leave this area now oh we are completely overburdened i didn't even notice that i was getting all this stuff wow okay yeah that's a lot let's go ahead and do that and drop all of those so it does a million damage <laughs> obviously because well i don't actually understand like why does it do a million damage? I mean, I know it's trying to get destroyed or something like that, but normally when a creature has a death animation, they just have the animation. There's no one million damage at the very end. So it's kind of weird that that is there. Don't really understand that. Uh, let's see about destroying this little Lystro. Yeah, this uh, this thing here isn't great. I'm hoping that it scales with, uh, with melee damage. We could actually probably check that out, to be honest. We could use some levels on it, but unfortunately i don't really have any i would have thought maybe taking down the strider would have given us some levels but it didn't really seem to so that kind of sucks I think we can take out this trike though and we're gonna have to just fight it now normally um so yeah like max level strider could be really really good if it does scale with melee damage so we definitely need to check that out obviously this attack will scale and i mean already like a level 24 tamed is given 125 it's pretty decent when you consider how high that actually could go and and a boom oh, oh really okay dude i love that explosion that is awesome looking but that sucks that i missed uh well this thing's almost dead so we can go ahead and just destroy it oh actually i, I completely forgot to like walk right through the water or did i i think i walked through the water but i just wasn't paying attention so let me like walk into the deep water then and just see if they actually swim or if they like just walk underwater that would be really cool i kind of like the creatures that walk underwater i think it's really interesting looking um let's see is this water deep enough it might not be uh yeah it's probably not deep enough dude this is like weird looking when i like hop off could i like fish off the back of this i don't know this is really weird <laughs> so um i really like the strider I feel like we're probably going to end up using it as like a little mobile base, though, when you think about like the fact that you can't cryo them uh, and they're like not that fast. So it's probably best to just use them as like a little mobile base instead. Um, we're fighting. What are we even fighting down there? Oh, I th OK. I saw the cannon moving and I thought that was something bigger. OK, so never mind. It's just some piranhas. OK. All right. Let's see. Uh, yeah, this water doesn't seem to be deep enough. I don't know if they swim or if they sink. Probably sink, but they could potentially swim. I don't know. Um, all right. Well, anyway, let's... Uh, <laughs> what else should we do with this thing? Like, it's really awesome, but I just don't think that there's a whole lot that we can actually do with it right now. You know what? That other one didn't use any of its weapons on me, so maybe we could try and take out that level 60 over there. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and pump one level into that and just see... Oh, didn't mean to still be in spyglass mode. Just see if this goes up. I mean, we're doing four because they're mate boosted. So uh, let me try. Let me try and hit one in the back. Maybe we're doing. We're still doing seven. I don't know if that scales at all. I'm really hoping that it does because like seven damage is terrible. That really is awful. 
um so if it doesn't scale and a max level does seven damage with that like it's not very good um so yeah let's uh let's go ahead and try and destroy this strider here though hopefully it doesn't use that cannon on me i'm really hoping that it doesn't because that would be awful all right a boom okay and we're pretty much out of energy so let's go ahead and just fight oh my god holy resources we just got tons of everything okay can we use this again a boom oh yeah look at that that was amazing that one that we're fighting actually look at some really nice colors i like that kind of like gray color as like the under uh part i don't really know what to call that but um yeah i've seen so many really cool looking striders and i really want a really awesome looking one as well uh, let's go ahead and just see oh you know this this was definitely a mistake uh oh i can't kill this thing can i i might be able to i might be able to considering i can use my onboard weapons but if i couldn't do that i definitely would not be able to defeat this thing because we're basically doing identical amounts of damage so unless i'm if i if i don't use that we're not going to be able to defeat it but luckily i have it so but it's going to probably be a close one this was definitely a mistake i don't know why it started to do this okay let's do another one okay there we go we're doing like 600 damage with that because it's hitting twice which is awesome we're not oh we are hitting okay great i was about to say we aren't for some reason i just got a little bit confused i'm a little bit nervous right now don't want to lose my very first strider immediately on day one all right come on oh yeah here we go here we go yes and one more and explosion time let's watch that properly um i can't get rid of that unfortunately and boom i can't tell is that the same way the AT-ATs die in star wars I guess one of them like falls forward and kind of explodes so i don't know if any of them like fall over on their side like that i'll have to rewatch the scene i love empire strikes back it's my favorite star wars movie so this is great but i i need to rewatch that scene to remember exactly how they die and just see if they kind of referenced that with the death animations on these dudes oh i know what i can do hello hello little hesperornis a boom ducks go goodbye <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, wait, is it not? Is it dead? Did I kill it? What was I just hitting there with 170 damage? Okay, I was killing an otter. Wow, that's horrifying. Okay, can we harvest with this dude? I don't think we can. Huh. All right. Well, wait. Let me try one more time. Yeah, no, you can't harvest meat at all. Hmm. I mean, it makes sense, but at the same time, kind of wish that we could. All right. Uh, we're gonna need to put this thing back for a little bit. We're gonna need to. Oh, look, the funny number. Uh, we're gonna need to let this thing heal. Um, just in general, love this creature. Love it so far. Definitely hope that that scales with with melee for sure, because that would be great. Maybe not the big cannon. Like 300 damage is probably a safe amount of damage that that can do. Kind of like. <laughs> I mean, you gotta consider that it needs to be somewhat kind of balanced. But like seven damage for like the other attack just doesn't seem like much maybe it is balanced maybe i'm just being unreasonable probably but i'm not exactly sure it's kind of hard to uh make a good judgment on that um it's also super hard to like hit with that to be honest you gotta be like super accurate but it also kind of like when you actually hit the tame or the creature or whatever like it kind of creates the big uh like explosive kind of uh light if you know what i mean and it's kind of hard to actually like track where the creature is going so i don't know let's see can we get up this little hill here right up to my base oh look wait can we stand up on top of the base <gasps> amazing okay let me put you up here there buddy come on oh no 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 oh oh okay back legs are bent okay oh that's perfect one on the ground one bent and then the two at the front kind of just chilling <laughs> i love it i really do this is awesome I, I i think this is such a great creature um i really want to check out some of the other attachments though i feel like the harvesting attachment could be really fun maybe what i should have done when i was grabbing all this mutagel is maybe try to get some more on top of what i got because we got a little bit but not enough to tame up another one like they seem to kind of be at minimum around like five or six to tame and i actually haven't found a level six at all so if we can find another one that has the harvesting attachment and the vacuum attachment as well that would be great that would be like our perfect our perfect uh, harvesting dude so um hopefully we can find them at some point and then we have the two shield ones which are going to be pretty good for pvp and everything i don't really think they're going to be super useful for me on here but maybe if you bring them to extinction could it hold back creatures 
because then you could just sit on the orbital supply drop for like a little bit and kind of like shield it if that's a thing that could be great but i'm not exactly sure a little bit of testing needs to be done with these dudes but um yeah guys i think that's probably going to be it for today if you have enjoyed the video Go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. We're killing it with all the videos and the views and the likes and the subs lately. So let's keep that up. I really appreciate it, guys. I seriously do. I've been doing this for a long time and uh, I've been here for every single DLC and I've been, I've been playing the crap out of them when they come out and like playing with them as well, like since. But um, this is honestly like one of the, probably the best releases so far. Um, Genesis Part 1 was great for me as well, but this one's been really, really good as well. So just want to say thank you and I'll catch you in the next one.